How do you play a game of bridge with four friends on BridgeBase Online? Each one of you will have registered at BBO and will have a name. Who's ever responsible for setting up the table will then um, plug those names into a t position at the table. Um, one thing you might want to do first, though, is add friends. Okay. These, over here is a list of, of my, all my friends that are online. Here are all my friends, and I use that term loosely because some of them um, I just follow. I mean, it's very cool. Like, here's David Bird. Um, so you can follow people when they're online um, that you're really not, um, not friends with so much. But it's nice to, like, let's say, oh, what do I want to do? I, I want to watch Brad Moss today. But everybody in blue is a friend of mine. We, um, and you can see there are hundreds. I've been online for 10 years playing. So anyways, you probably want to make somebody a friend. So what you want to do is go down and add friend, and you click in their name. Um, uh, let's say the name of the person is going to be uh, Thick Skin. I want to be friends with Thick Skin. And you click Add. Okay, And now Thick Skin is a friend of yours, which means that you're going to be able to find them. You'll get actual notice of it when they sign online. And it will also show up in a list here, which will make it easier when you're trying to set up a table. So add your friends. Um, next, and have them add you so that, so that everybody can see each other. Now next, what you want to do to set up a table is go to um, a casual setting. It's probably the best place to start. Just go casual and go start a table. Okay. Imps. Or match points. If you haven't played any imps pairs, kind of fun. Much easier on the brain. I try not to play match points after 7 o'clock in the evening. Maybe some of you are like that. Um, I get up way too early for that. But imps pretty much do good by just uh, making your contracts, bidding lots of games. Um, you have some options. You can allow kibs. You can allow the kibs to chat with players. Nice for a casual setting where it's social and people are going to stop by your table and watch. You can limit the people who are watching your table by making them ask for permission first. Um, I usually don't do that. But I always do permission required to play. Okay, And the reason that you want to do that is because of software concerns. Often when people become disconnected, in some circumstances, their seat is not reserved for them, and if you're in one of the bigger rooms, either the relaxed room or the main room, BBO sticks who's ever looking for a game in that seat. Now you have to persuade them to leave just because your friend got disconnected. So click require, permission required to play, and that way it will give you time to reserve that seat. Don't bother making your table invisible unless you've got enemies out there. Um, or you're trying to hide from somebody. It's just a complicated little thing. Don't click the exclude no members because you're new members. Or don't set any number on the minimum completion rate um, because um, if, if any of your friends have been on you know, once or twice and, and left in the middle of a hand and they've only played a dozen hands, then they, you might not be able to get them at the table. So just leave it at zero from now. Um, all right. Then you can start the game, and you can start it in the relaxed room, or you can start it in the competitive room. But let's say you have all your friends' names available. Okay, so right at this point, where it says Reserve Seats, click it and save it. Let's put Thick Skin there. And uh, OK. And let's put uh, my good buddy Jack Forth in the north seat. OK. And over here, let's put... Uh, Mark Hugger, my real name. And there it is. Now, none of those people are on right now. Okay. So it's just going to reserve it. Now I can start the game and I'll start it in the lax relaxed room. Okay. So down here it's telling me these people aren't available, which may be the case if you are about to start playing with friends. Okay. They might not be signed on yet, but you've set up the table, everything is ready for them, and then you sit. All right. And there you go. And that's how you start a table. It's not that complicated. Now, as these people sign in, um, they're going to need to get to your table somehow. If they were online when you made the table, then they will be sent an invitation. 
Okay, that will say something like the seat is reserved for you at Obi Sugar's table. They can just click yes to come to the table and it'll put them right in their seat. If they're offline though, sometimes they won't get that invitation. So how do they find you? How do they find the table? Right? Well, this is why you want to mark people as your friends, because when you do, they show up over here. Right? They show up on the right hand side of the screen. You leave this table. So if I if if I want to um, if I know I'm meeting people to play, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign in and I'm going to see their names over here. Like here's Margie. Okay, so Margie's from Virginia. I've known her a while. She plays every morning. She's very, very studious, learning lots about bridge. She's playing with a bunch of people here. But let's say one of these seats was empty. All right. What I would do is I would click her name, and then I would see all, remember how we had all those reserved seats? I would see my name there to be reserved, and I would just click on it, and it, the software would allow me to sit directly there. Another way to go to that table, let's say you just want a kib, or if you're just meeting somebody and they haven't reserved for a seat for you, right? If, you, if the seat is locked you can and empty, seat is locked and empty, and you'll see that because it'll just say the direction of the seat, a little lock on it, and you can click on that, and that will ask people for permission to sit. Um, finally, you can just click join. And that takes me to whoever's profile here, right? Here it's Margie Spinman. And um, I just click on that, and it takes me to the table. If there were empty seats, then I could sit down if I wanted. Or here, where there are no empty seats, it just puts me into the kit box. So now I can watch them play. All right. If you have any questions at all, just type them in the question on the comments below, and I'll respond. Uh, it's Obi Sugar. If you see me online and have a question, don't hesitate to ask.